Okay. There's been a lot of hit and run accidents on Black River Boulevard lately. I would think it would happen on Erie Boulevard because the traffic on Erie Boulevard is fucking kamikaze. But lately it's been right around this area and for some reason it's always near the Rome Hospital that all the hit and runs are occurring. Now you gotta keep in mind that cars, especially at nighttime, aren't going to see you. And they tend to blast right through red lights. So even though the light will be red for a few seconds, you can count on cars going right through that red light if they can. If they see the pedestrian sign signal flashing, some drivers will actually speed up. So, you have to stop, and you have to use the crosswalks, the designated crosswalks, and you gotta stop. You gotta say, stop, think, observe, and plan. So when you stop, you look both ways, and you make sure that the intersection is nice and clear, that there's no incoming traffic, and then you hit the signal, as you can see, gives you about 30 seconds, it should be a, a full, maybe it's a minute, and then you just walk across, and you constantly observe, left and right, or right and left, and then you just get to the other side. But you don't go cutting across the road, especially when there's heavy traffic. Right now it's after midnight, there is no traffic. I like it that way. Daytime drivers are much worse than nighttime drivers. Trust me, much worse. But you can't expect the police to enforce these pedestrian crosswalks 24-7. You have to be smart. So, before you cross, just make sure it's clear. If you see cars coming at you, make sure they are slowing down. Make sure they see you. And hey, if you're wearing dark clothing, you're asking for trouble. A lot of these cars, they just don't slow down. And a lot of these vehicles do 10, 15, 20 miles an hour over the posted speed limit. And personally, I think posted speed limits and uh, stoplights are a, uh, a courtesy. You know, drivers either can or they don't have to. Huh. 